So today we have a very, very special guest. This footballer has won four Champions Leagues and scored some pretty spectacular goals along the way. We're on the range with Wales superstar Gareth Bale talking about how he got down to a scratch handicap. Let's get to it. So Gareth Bale, welcome to the video. Great to see how you. How are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm good. I'm not too bad. Good. This is, I'm really looking forward to this. So look, two handicap, nearly scratched, getting there, working hard at the game. What has allowed you, now, by the way, we have seen your old golf swing Ooh, yeah. and it's considerably <laughs> changed. Yeah. What's, what's got you to this point where you are swinging it actually really well now and yeah. what sort of drills have you been doing? Anything that sort of stands out? Yeah, I think obviously looking at my old swing is it's, it's, it's not great. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit embarrassing, but um, no, I think it's important to actually video your swing because able to see positions, obviously um, working with somebody as well, just yeah. now and again, just knowing the correct fundamentals, alignment, positions of the club. Um, obviously you watch a lot of golf on TV and you kind of want to be hitting the ball like them <laughs> or as close as, as you can. So just working on the right things. Um, whenever I have 20 minutes or something or half an hour to pop to the range or, or even just swing without hitting a, a yeah. ball at my house, just in the mirror or something, yeah, just yeah. Um, working on just kind of little things to get the club in the right place. And um, yeah, I guess 20 minutes every now and again just adds up over, over a period of time and yeah it kind of it does help a lot. Yeah it's a really good way of doing it, it's a really good way of doing it. Should we actually hit a few shots so yeah. we can actually see what this golf swing has evolved into now? Yeah. Obviously they've just seen it on the on the edit there. That was the old swing. The though. old swing. <laughs> the old swing yeah. I'll try and make this. It. But it looks like you were playing sawgrass on that image as well which looks Yeah it was decent, yeah, yeah which was yeah it was it was an enjoyable day but the score didn't reflect the This golf the swing's going to be better suited for sawgrass trust me. Yeah I need to go back there that's the good thing. <laughs> Some there speed go. there as well. Yeah, it's nice. Hit another exactly. one for us, hit another one. Let's get in there. So as you as you maybe are hitting some of these as well, just go through some of the things that have really helped you that maybe can help the people watching this. Yeah, obviously. so I think as you've seen in my old swing, I kind of used to come really inside on the on the backswing, which tended to kind of make me hook the ball mm -hmm. and yeah. I had a nice strike, but the control was Whew, a yeah. banana. It wasn't even a draw, it was a bit of a hook, but um <laughs> Yeah, just, just working on mainly kind of, you see a lot of the pros do it, kind of making sure the club's kind of in line with your hands or maybe just a bit outside, which I like to feel. So when I'm swinging, it feels in more of a neutral position. And then just making sure I turn, because if I don't turn, I get a bit armsy and okay. kind of lose the club and lose control. So um, Because you mentioned this before, that actually you went from a change, which was, sorry, a swing, which was very much around to maybe yeah. one that was actually... Yeah, I kind of overcompensated yeah. went, and then now hopefully I'm, I feel like I'm right in the middle where I should be and uh, yeah, just as I said, just those, even just in my house, just I'm kind of just in the mirror, just kind of looking where the club has to be and it does kind of, as I said, it adds up and when you get out onto the course or to the range, you kind of do feel that difference from the practice and getting that muscle memory. This is something that you love, isn't it? Mirror training, really important. Even if you've just got a small amount of time to practice. Look, Gareth's still playing football, so he hasn't got loads of time. But if you've got that time in that window in the, or the mirror, or literally. The mirror. And look, Gareth's got about 10 kids, so he has to have <laughs> 20 minutes. It's crucial for they him to like maximize, 10 kids. <laughs> maximize the, 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 the use of that. So, I mean, look, I mean, I think the important thing is you've got the clarity of what you're trying to work on yeah. as well. So you go in there going, right, I need to ingrain this. I know yeah. I need to turn. Having that just makes... Yeah. I suppose those practice sessions really productive, isn't it? Yeah, and I think the, one of the things at the start when I started playing, I, kind, I tried to be clever and do things on my own and you don't really know what you're working on. You're just kind of going off where the ball's going. If you're hitting it nice, you're like, this must be okay. But <laughs> yeah. consistency over a period of time, it doesn't work. And I think it's important to get the right advice and it just saves yourself so much more time in the future. And just, yeah, otherwise, yeah, you're enjoying yourself, but you're kind of wasting your time if you're just constantly swinging badly and you can get good at it but there's a limit as where yeah. if you are getting in the right positions then your the sky's obviously a lot higher. I think, I think the one thing as well so anyone watching this now that sometimes 20 minutes is actually a really good range to keep your focus yeah. and to not spill out and do and get tired uh, bad well. habits yeah. and get tired absolutely yeah, sure. so sometimes you know just having a 20 minute session being really focused you're not going to lose energy and you are going to maintain that focus. Do you know what he's got to warm up again now though because we've just, <laughs> we've just cooled him down <laughs> so we're get, let's hit a few more shots because yeah, yeah, that okay. was really nice and okay. I think you like to play this little bit of left to right fade yeah. as well that's the yeah. shot obviously you there's play. a bit of a right to left wind so it kind of straightens it but um yeah the fade i prefer just softer landing dispersion rates a little bit less yeah. which obviously helps scores so 
Yeah, and you're gearing your golf swing up to avoid missing that shot left, aren't you? You don't want to. Yeah, see from left. from past experience, and yeah. yeah, there's a lot of scar tissue from missing left. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, obviously missing left, it comes in hotter, it goes further away. Yeah. So yeah, that miss, if you're missing more right, it's landing softer. It's not. It shouldn't flare too much, and it shouldn't run out too much as well. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's a functional miss as opposed yeah. to a disaster miss, isn't it? Yeah, nice. Beautiful. Again, that's as just you can see, dead straight. There, isn't yeah. it? And one thing I, I, you notice within Gareth's how he moves, the pivot motion is so good. You know, there's no sort of movement away from the golf yeah. ball. Everything stays very central, and that's what enables that ball followed by the turf. Really, that a lot of golfers struggle with. Lots is that, of learn. Is that something you've ever been conscious of as well, or is that just the fact that obviously um, strong legs from football? I think. I think when I first started, I was a really kind of like this, <laughs> and I used to come around because. Okay. You just didn't know how to do things, but obviously you narrow the stance and once you kind of get the motion better and tempo, I think is always the biggest thing for me because I feel like I have a lot of speed, but speed also is my worst thing because I can sometimes get too excited and you lose all your kind of positions, your rhythm and that's when you start missing. So I have to also, speed is my best thing, but probably my worst. So I have yeah. to also keep an eye on not to get too excited and keeping my rhythm and yeah, that yeah, will makes total sense, especially with the make my ball well, striking which is better. More about that control, exactly. Isn't it? Yeah, a few drives. Yeah, let's get to so the driver. Yeah, drives, yeah. Let's yeah. Drives. So, how would you rate your driving in comparison to your irons? Um, <laughs> a lot worse. Okay. Um, I think I I haven't practiced driver as much as as obviously irons and wedges and stuff because at home it's a little bit more difficult to swing a driver. Obviously, the ball <laughs> is off the floor as well, which um, yeah, something I I do need to work on more. But um, it's just having the time and and I guess. Hitting a lot of drivers is a lot more harder than hitting yeah, irons. Yeah, it does yeah. seem to take a lot out of you. But um, something now that I'm starting to work on a bit more because I feel like if I can get this in play a bit more, then yeah, it's going to help me shoot into the green bit more, shoot better scores. So okay, okay yeah, let's watch it. Let's watch it. Yeah. Yeah. And this was fitted. You got this driver fitted to you, yeah? Yeah, I did. Yeah. So um, yeah, <laughs> there's no excuses. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh no, I'm trying to take you up to his guard. I know. <laughs> Yeah, got fitted, grips are a bit thicker. Um, shaft is obviously a stiffer shaft yeah. for, my, for my speed. And then, um, yeah, just getting the right weights and the right um, degree of, of driver. So it yeah. doesn't get too spinny, doesn't go too low. So yeah, just, um, yeah, it's important to get fitted, I think. I think um, a lot of people do buy it standard, but if you are a bit more serious about the game, it's, it definitely takes a lot of shots off your round. Because if it's, if it's too loose, you'll tend to flip it left and it's end up losing balls, yeah, yeah. losing shots, and you get more annoyed with it. So, um, guess what driver Gareth used to have before? <laughs> a little bit too flippy and it was going left. <laughs> Hence why I got fitted. <laughs> <laughs> the stiffest shaft you've got, Taylor made. Put it in that driver. Please. <laughs> okay, so straight right, down that got. tower, let's hit a yeah. few down there. Yeah, that's a good hit. A little bit of a hover there when you're hovering the uh, a setup, yeah. is that. I started that a little while ago, just because sometimes I, I feel like I have to pull it off the okay. ground. So hovering it, it's just there already yeah. to take back. So. Smooth and move away, yeah. Yeah. Go on here, hit another one. And the shot, the, let's say, the bad shot with this is more... It's the miss to the right. Miss to the right. Hence the same before, scar tissue of missing <laughs> the left. So yeah. yeah, missing it right is a bit softer, land softer, unless there's water, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any different thoughts with the driver compared to an iron? Um, I try to um, have a lot of the same things. Obviously, the ball position's different and you're obviously you're swinging a lot quicker, but I try to have a similar thought of my positions. Um, it's just obviously it's a lot more difficult to hit a driver, I think, than it is to hit pretty much every other club. Yeah, so yeah. that's why I guess the players at the top of the world are normally bombers so yeah, yeah. And, and apart from maybe Morikawa who's the best iron player in the world so <laughs> makes up for it so yeah yeah, yeah. okay so there's the shot that you let's yeah, say that, the that's one the that, bad one yeah but it's a lot better than the yeah yeah oh yeah Th those are mm. yeah it's actually a bad one it's not too bad yeah <laughs> let's get another one there what would you do if you were playing let's just say that you were playing and you weren't driving very well and be a lot of people watching this now who are going, well, I'm playing and I'm not driving well. Yeah. What can I do? Is there anything you can do in the round to just say, well, look, it's a tighter fairway. I've got to hit the fairway. Yeah. Well, I do have a, a bit of a kind of a, a lower, not a stinger because it's not really a stinger, but a lower flight, more of like a, 
a punch kind of drive that yeah it's not going to leak too far right the wind's not going to get it at all and if I am hitting it that bad and I really <laughs> need to get it in play then or I need to win a hole I try and um, not really think about technique it's kind of an old shot that I kind of did when I was really hitting the driver bad so um, yeah when I really need to use it I tend to tee the ball down a bit and kind of take all the technique out of it but just kind of compress the ball a bit more yeah. a bit more of attack angle and kind of yeah squeeze it out there low kind of like an iron really isn't it yeah, like you say, you're way, trying to yeah. punch an iron yeah. down there almost but with exactly, the driver so yeah might be worth um, just just to, let's hit one of those and we'll right. see the difference tonight maybe if you yeah, want to load the team yeah. then we can get back into the ones it's always a it's always nice to then maybe hit a fairway after they've just hit the one that you've hit yeah definitely get the confidence back up yeah <laughs> definitely see that's low with the tee as well there you go beautiful and it is a stinger, really, for me. That is. That's oh, yeah. like a yeah, I Gary Woodland Tiger too Woods. Much credit, but <laughs> 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 but yeah, I try to keep a bit lower out the wind. Yeah, normally finds the fairway, but yeah. it's not far off if it if it does miss. So it's two fifty yards, maybe. But it's, yeah, that, and that's it's, fine. It's yeah, fairway. sometimes that's what you need. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's hit one more. Let's go um, another shot again. Back to the sort of normal swing here. Yeah. We are going on the golf course. Confidence is back. Oh, it well. is. Yeah, we are. We're on the golf course playing nine balls. You need to check that video out as well. Save the best there, nice little draw. Yep. Yeah, really good. And I think I think it's it's just apparent as well, Gareth. Just watching what you do, that you, you know, you're not just sort of winging it. Yeah. You're going out there, the setup looks great, the fundamentals, the posture, the ball position, how you move your body, it all looks really good, and you can see the the effort that you've done in. Yeah. Even just, though you haven't got that much time, but yeah, you, exactly. you're putting the yeah. work in. Like I said, just little and often, and it makes a big difference after. <laughs> five six months so yeah for sure okay gareth look awesome some amazing changes in your golf swing and golf congrats yeah, really on that good. really good. really good well done well done thanks guys don't forget to check out the me and my golf app and don't forget to check out the game that we're about to go out there and play there it's going to be good it's going to be tough we're going we're going low remember we're going low we've got some to work carry. to do we, seven, we did actually say seven under for nine holes we actually need to birdie everything else <laughs> why do we even set, why do you set, that's like that will go. Come on. Come on then, baby. Go on. Get over what, that that looks just all over it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Pierce! Woo! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I just felt that. I felt that was in. I'll tell you what. Straight in the middle of the cup. Yes! Well, get the ball. Ball. Liverpool fans, be. comments below, please keep them <laughs> friendly. Keep them clean. Uh, yeah, to see the nation at home watching us, supporting us, and whenever we scored, the beers going everywhere, and <laughs> yeah, it was it was a cool experience with all the fans there in France as well. Oh, that is perfection. Go! That, go! Andy did the Bryson. Oh my goodness gracious me.